Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Today we're going to talk about if fishing is worth anything, and I'm going to show you some rare fish locations. So first of all, you're going to go into an expedition of any of the maps that you want in high rank, and we're going to show you how to find some fishing spots. So the first thing you should do is hold down the minus button to bring up your map, press X to bring up the icon list, and go to the right to materials number two. You can see the icon selection list there. And go to the second page of that and you'll see there's fishing spots, and these will now show up on the map. There's generally three fishing spots on every single map. You'll be able to see these by these little white fish icons right over there around the map when you have this selected in your icon uh, list settings there, like we just did. So when I was trying to look for an answer if fishing was worth anything, the first thing I was looking at was whether or not fishing could bring in money. Could it bring Kurokimura points? Could it bring in some zeni? Could we make money? Most of them are just for crafting, you know, like the wet fish or things to make foods or use as ammos, or some of them are actually used in ingredients for crafting armor. But then you have some fish here, like the Spear 2, which sells for a thousand per fish and you can collect 99 in your inventory pouch during your quest. Some of the other ones will only let you collect between like 2 and 10 per quest. The only other fish that you can sell for quite a bit is the golden fry which sells for 500 zeni and sometimes when you fish them out you can get 3 of them at a time. So that's 1500 zeni straight up. So let me quickly show you how to fish. I'm going to go to the quickest fishing location, my favorite little place here in the sandy plains. It's literally right down here. When you walk up to a fishing place, all you have to do is press A to fish and point where you want your kind of um, little bob to go. And then you'll see a fish will kind of do two nibbles. And once it does two nibbles, you can press A and the actual fish will just come up. You don't have to hold it. It doesn't have really complicated fishing to, like techniques that, like what you have to do in like Animal Crossing or something. It's really super simple. This fish that I'm catching right over here, this big one that has like a weird spot sticking out of its back you'll see it right now this one over here is perfect for farming Kimura points because it will give you just under 500 Kimura points every single time you catch it that's like 480 Kimura points for the platinum fish so that's a decent way to get Kimura points, but what's a decent way to get Zenny? Well, this is by getting the Spear Tuna that we just saw. This is one of the rare fishes that you will actually be using for crafting armor as well. You can find it in the Frost Islands. Located in Zone 3, so it's basically right at the beginning here. As you walk up here, you'll see there's this little section where you can fish. Now what we're looking for is this big bad boy with the, the giant fin on the front of his face. You'll see there's quite a few here. These are Spear Tuna. You can find them in other maps as well, but you'll find most of them in this little fishing spot over here. And every single time you catch them, keep in mind you can sell them for a thousand zenny. So I just made a thousand zenny by picking that bad boy up right there. And there's another one right there. All you have to do is push the push the, the bob like near their face. Uh, if, even if it's behind them, they'll head towards it. You just gotta make sure the other fish don't get there before the spear tuna does. And this is where you're gonna be getting your spear tuna to make a thousand zenny every single time you catch one. And now we're in the Sandy Plains looking for the Great Gastronome Tuna. Now this is a very interesting fish because it actually drops shinies on the ground when you catch it. Now, at the sub camp here, right by number 8, there's a fishing spot that's right hidden like underground. So we're going to basically have to get like to the underground section of this map here. So you'll see there is a giant hole here right off to the sub camp over there. You can see it's like a giant sinkhole. We're going to go down there. Once you get down there, head all the way to the number 8. You'll see you can go over this little section over here where there's this nice blue water. It's one of my favorite areas of the Sandy Plains. It looks really cool. I wish I could actually go for a swim. Then there's this big bad boy fish right over here. Now, if he isn't there, there might be a smaller fish of his type. What you have to do is catch some of them to kind of reset them. So every time you catch one, one of them will be replaced. So if you catch the big bad boy... Um, a smaller one will be replaced, and then you pick up another one. What we just caught right now is a great wet fish. So um, if you want to sharpen your weapons, that's great. But we're trying to catch this big bad boy over here, this guy, this crazy-looking guy. So sometimes it might be a little bit tricky to try get him to bite first. You'll see that when he nibbles first, he's going to be the one that you're going to catch. And there we go. We're going to catch him right over here, this this big bad boy. The, he is the great gastronome tuna. You catch this dude, and he actually drops shinies on the ground when you catch him. It's pretty great. There's a small version of him, too. You can see there's a new one right over there that's a small version he will also drop a shiny on the ground for you to catch and is one of the rarer fishes that you can only catch in by think this map i haven't seen it on any of the others so the final fish that we're looking for is in the lava currents this is the supreme brocade fish now you can find this one in three forms the normal brocade fish you get a giant brocade fish and then you get the supreme brocade fish this small one over here is the one that we're looking for this kind of one that looks has a little red kind of color 
colors to it, you're going to be finding this in all different types of sizes. This is the small one, the brocade fish. You'll see there is a much larger one over there with the red on its back, the kind of red, orange, and yellow. It's actually more orange and yellow, to be honest. This one over here is the giant one. So you go and ahead and catch that one. We're waiting until a giant one, like one that is more massive than this bad boy right over here. That is a king brocade fish. Sorry, not giant. It's the king one. We're not looking for the king one. We're looking for the supreme one. So what you're going to do is keep catching these guys over here. These are just the raid ones, just the brocade fish until you get the big one. After a while, you should see a big bad boy will appear and he takes up like a lot of the water there. Like look how big that dude is, dude. This one is the supreme, the supreme brocade fish. He is quite rare though. They do give Kamura points when you capture them so they're not sellable or anything like the other ones. And honestly, uh, yeah, he's just there for 541 uh, Kimura points, so he's not really as good as the Platinum Fish for Kimura point farming. At some of the fishing spots, like the northern subcamp in the Sandy Plains, you'll see these small little fish here, the ones without the big eyes. It's a little tiny little fish. This guy over here, this is the golden fry that you can sell for 500 zenny, and sometimes you can catch three of them at a time, like I said at the beginning of the video. And that's where you get those guys if you are looking for any of these types of fish in the game. And those are pretty much what fishing is for, um, you know? And as you fish enough fish, you will actually get a, f an, a fishing award on your guild card so that you can, you know, account for that for your achievements for your progress on the awards that you're trying to earn on your guild card if you are trying to you know complete that to 100 percent fishing is on the list so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching